Hey, what's going on everybody? Thomas here, and this is Buffalo Fanatics. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my opinion on whether or not I think the Buffalo Bills should trade Cordy Glenn to the Giants in exchange for the second overall pick in the 2018 NFL Draft. So I want to start off by acknowledging that the New York Giants drafted Eric Flowers, um, a left tackle, with the ninth overall pick in the 2015 NFL Draft. And since he basically came into the league, he hasn't really panned out. He hasn't really played very good, and he's been okay, but he's never really been very, very good to begin with. By trading the seventh year vet, the Bills could actually secure a top pick and potentially draft a franchise quarterback. Glenn has the experience at left tackle that the New York Giants really, really need. And the New York Giants have the second overall pick that the Buffalo Bills really, really need in order to go up and get their guy. Now the Bills do have that draft capital. They have the, the 21st overall, the 22nd overall, the 53rd overall, and the 55th overall, I believe, in this year's draft. So the whole idea is that the Buffalo Bills trade Cordy Glenn and a few picks to the New York Giants for the second overall pick in the 2018 NFL Draft and maybe like some other pick, maybe a sixth or seventh rounder um, in the 2019 NFL Draft. So one thing that makes this trade a little bit interesting is that David Gettleman, the GM of the New York Giants, actually was the GM in Carolina um, when Brandon Bean was the assistant GM and Sean McDermott was the defensive coordinator in Carolina. So they have a very, very good um, relationship with each other, which I think that that would really help um, in securing the second overall pick from the Giants in this year's draft. So my mock trade is that the Buffalo Bills ship off the 21st pick, the 22nd pick, and the 55th overall pick in this year's draft, plus Cordy Glenn for the second overall pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, as well as a late round pick, like a sixth or seventh round pick um, in the 2019 NFL Draft as well from the Giants. So a thing that could be interesting here is that Cordy Glenn actually has three years left on his contract. So no matter what the Bills do here, they can still keep Cordy Glenn and they can still maybe try to get him healthy. He should be ready to go for the 2018 NFL regular season um, that's what it's projected to be. But we all really don't know, cause you know, with foot problems and foot injuries, you never know exactly what can happen. And especially with NFL players and injuries, especially like over 300 pounds, you never know exactly how well their feet and their ankle can actually heal. So the reason why this trade makes a lot of sense to me is because I think the Bills can easily move on from Cordy Glenn and clear up some cap space while actually keeping a left tackle, Deion Dawkins, a very good you know, rookie that played tremendously this year, you didn't really even notice he was on the field, and that was a great thing, because you don't want to notice when your offensive linemen are on the field even. You want them to just be silent, and you want them to just do their work, do the dirty work, and get the job done. And that's what Deion Dawkins did. And now since he basically took over that left tackle starting role, that starting position, Cordy Glenn is now kind of expendable. So by the Bills actually trading away a big cap hit um, left tackle that they don't need anymore, they can actually use that to their advantage and go get a franchise quarterback, whether that be Sam Darnold or maybe Josh Rosen, maybe even Baker Mayfield, depending on how much they like him. But I think the reason why this makes a lot of sense is because the Bills have the, the draft capital to go and get their guy. And I just think that it makes a lot of sense to do that because you already have a pretty good roster. You have a pretty good defense. All you got to do is fill a few holes. You have a pretty good offense. All you got to do is fill a few holes. And you can really become the next level. You can really advance your team into getting into the AFC Championship, into getting in the Super Bowl. I really don't think that the Bills are too far off especially with the Patriots starting to decline, Tom Brady getting to the age where it's like, he might retire, you know, in, in a year, two years, you know, probably within two years. And, you know, then the Bills might be that one team that just has the, has the stronghold on the AFC East. And if the Bills really can dominate this, this draft and this off season and make the right moves, they could be in a position to have that stronghold position on the AFC East. 
So that's what makes this very, very interesting. If the Bills were to trade Cordy Glenn and the picks to the Giants, the Giants get their left tackle, they get more picks, they are able to trade those picks even down and build for the future. And I think that Brandon Bean and Sean McDermott, McBean, as Rico likes to say, um, you know, you they have that relationship. So maybe they'd be like, hey, listen, like, you could save football for them, you could be the hero, all you gotta do is make that trade with us, and, you know, then the Bills end up getting their franchise guy. And I think that this trade makes a lot of sense, and I hear, I've heard stuff, you know, like, the Bills trading with Sean McCoy, that, that, that was what my last video was about. I'm not a big fan of that, I don't think that's gonna happen, I think he's so productive, so. I think the Bills keep him. Of course, if the Bills do not trade Cordy Glenn, I would love to see him back at left tackle being healthy and I would love to see Deion Dawkins at right tackle or right guard um, depending on what they see fit but I think this trade makes a lot of sense and the Giants really really need a left tackle and I think that Cordy Glenn could really come in to New York and really make an impact. If you guys enjoyed this video please go leave a like down below, comment your opinions and let me know what you guys think about the trade and please don't forget to subscribe to the Buffalo Fanatics channel for more amazing content. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Peace.